So this just came in. I wanted to show this to you. This is from Techpo. This is a an electric chainsaw here that just came in. I've been kind of looking at it, and there's a few things I wanted to share with you on this. Um, 110 volt, so you basically you get a, a good quality uh, heavy gauge extension cord, and plug it in right there, and you are powering this chainsaw. Now, a couple of things. I've, I've used quite a few cordless chainsaws, and there's a couple of things I like that I see right out of the box. First off, this little tooth, this little uh, bar here, this little tooth, the actual chainsaw bar comes out of this. If you're not familiar with chainsaws, what this basically does is this becomes kind of a, a pivot point where you're able to kind of dig into the side of the branch, tree log, what have you, and use this as kind of a fulcrum to pivot the chainsaw into the wood. It is very helpful in controlling the saw and the, the blade and such as far as for kickbacks and things. Now, it does have, of course, the anti-kickback brake that's right there, so that's kind of a cool thing. Doing this one-handed. Another thing that I really like about it, I'm just, again, seeing it right out of the box, is my oil fill right there on the very top. Sometimes on gas-powered, you've got, you know, try to do it on the side, what have you, on the top. Very nice. Uh, it's a single, quick adjusting system, which is something that you're seeing more and more of on the consumer grade, so that is a nice feature. Check that out. A little window that's going to tell us how much bar oil is in here. They're going to be able to see what's in there, and I'm going to fill it up here a little bit later and uh, take this out and do a demo with that. But that is a nice feature for being able to just visually see what's there, because the way a chainsaw, for those of you who are looking at getting into uh, doing, you know, trimming a branch here or there, the way it works is basically it drips a little bit of oil on that chain, which will be running on the bar that's right here. Um, let me show you the chain. The chain is a kind of a standard Oregon chain. You can pick up replacements or they can be sharpened depending upon what you would like to do. And as long as we're here, I'm gonna show you this. The way they're sharpened, there's two different ways. They can actually use a specific file to sharpen the edge right here, that little edge. And then there's the depth. This is the depth gauge. Over time, as they take more metal off this to sharpen it, they have to adjust this also. Sharpening a chain for a chainsaw is not really a typical homeowner's uh, thing that you want to do. You want to make sure that they're sharpened evenly and properly. So I would recommend uh, finding a professional who sharpens these chains. But again, it's a, it's a standard Oregon chain. You can pick that up with the uh, proper code and such, pretty much any. Now this particular one, let me just, I'm going to move this off to the side here. We've got, of course, the bar, the bar protector right there for that and down here is the actual the actual 16 inch bar itself now a couple of things with that if you're new to chainsaw you're going to have to you've got the, the area over here for the adjustments and as you can see this particular bar has that that piece that will catch when I put that uh, when I tighten that little knob and then on the other side this is a little sprocket, kind of a bearing and such. That little hole, that hole is actually really important to get a little device that will squirt grease into that. Generally, when I'm out working with chainsaws, I will put a little grease in that every day if we're out cutting wood. And when we're cutting wood, I'm talking we're probably cutting two cords, a cord and a half to two cords of wood a day, somewhere in that ballpark. I always like to think about it as about two cords, I want to put a little grease in that. If I'm changing chains, I put a little grease in that, not over filling it, just giving it a, a little squirt just to keep that lubricated and it makes this last a long time. And again, with a chainsaw, that chain is riding down this track. That's why that bar oil that we were talking about before is so important because when it's going down that track, it's going to wear. And if the bar oil is not working properly, the chain itself is going to get hot and it's going to have issues and it's going to, could warp, it could uh, seize, what have you, or the bar is going to have unusual wear. So to put that on, I'm going to basically take this off, put the bar in there, and I'll do that in a separate video, but I want to just give you an overview here of this little, it's 110 volt, right there, you can see our plug-in, extension cord, and off you go. Just a, a new device here for those who want to have something in the garage to be able to trim up a few branches. And again, we'll be doing a video to show you how this all works out in the field here. I've got some tree branches down in the back here that we'll be cutting up for you. This is John Young with the Weekend Handyman. Thanks for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.